ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Hey y'all. Welcome to Weed and Barley. This is a place where you get the ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine. Welcome to this platform. I am here today to give you a message from the Lord. This is a mighty message. This message is regarding the times we're in, praise God. We know that the Bible teaches us in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 that there's a time for everything. I'm telling you, there's a time to mourn. There's a time to die. There's a time to be born. I mean, there's a time of season changing, praise God. But the Lord is letting us know today day that this time that we are in it is a return to his original design let me say that again it is a return to his his original design he is calling for for us to stand in his original alignment in his original design in his original order and so because of that I am here to give you the word unto what the Lord has spoken. Let me say that again. I am here to give you the word in which the Lord has spoken. This word is a mighty word. This word is wonderful. This word is powerful. Why is it powerful? Because it is giving you the trajectory of the next phase that you're going to walk in, praise God. The trajectory of the next phase. I'm telling you right now that the Lord is letting us know that we're returning to the original design. And when I started to think about what the Lord was saying, praise God, hallelujah, because he kept dealing with me about time, time, time. And then I heard a few people talk about shift, shift, shift. But one thing about me, because I have a relationship with the Holy Spirit, spirit i will go in and i will ask the holy spirit you know what is happening what is this change see he had already given we didn't barley the pro the prophetic message praise god of july triumph and we already know that there are changes happening right now where people who have been in ministry for a long time worship worshiping for a long time praise god they're coming off the mountain hallelujah some are resting in peace praise god hallelujah and some hallelujah they are being brought down because it's retirement time they're being brought down hallelujah because there's no more uh um uh, the time has ran short for them, praise God. The time is up for them, hallelujah. And the Lord is raise, raising up a remnant in this time. This remnant is going to take charge in the way that the Lord is calling for, praise God. And they're not going to look like what everybody looks like in these days, these modern times, praise God. They're gonna look the opposite. I'm telling you right now, hallelujah. Whatever you think the modern day look is, praise God, these people are going to look the opposite of that, hallelujah. They're not going to be made all up like television television shows, praise God. They're going to be original, normal people, hallelujah, ready to pour forth that word in which the Lord has placed in their bellies. The Lord is bringing them up in this season and they will stand tall on the mountain. And this is what the Lord shared with me, praise God. He's returning us back to his timing, hallelujah. This is his original timing, praise God. This is his original design for marriage, hallelujah. This is his original design, praise God, for how we should walk out his business, how we should conduct his business we are returning back praise god this is why it's so important for us to get to know this bible so we can get to know our god he is still the same from beginning hallelujah i'm telling you he's still the same right now and he forever will be the same praise god so he has not switched up or changed hallelujah but we can see from the front but we can see as we look, hallelujah, all around us, praise God, that things have changed. People are changing. People are making up new definitions for this and that, praise God. They want to live their lives any old kind of way, hallelujah. They say they're going to live it how they want to live it, praise God. But we know that when we belong to Jesus Christ, we can't live our lives how we want to live it. We got to put down those things, hallelujah. We got to die of self, praise God. And we got to walk with the Lord and what he's calling us to do. We got to pick up our cross too, praise God. And so in in this, hallelujah, you're going to be able to see the tares from the wheat, praise God. You're going to be able to see those who are really following God and those who aren't, praise God. You're going to see, hallelujah, because the Lord is exposing. I'm telling you this right now. There are so many preachers, praise God, that I have actually gone to see, praise God, meaning I visited their churches, hallelujah. I've watched them on television, praise God. I watched them on YouTube, hallelujah. They were speaking the word of the Lord, praise God. And then all of a sudden, hallelujah, they were 
bring up something that wasn't biblical. They will bring up something, hallelujah, that looked like mixing, hallelujah. They will bring up something that looked like new doctrine. And what did I do? Praise God, hallelujah. I turned that TV off, hallelujah. I stopped watching them on YouTube, praise God, hallelujah. I disconnected in the mighty name of Jesus because we have to discern who is of God and who is not. So some people may say, praise God, well, how didn't you discern that originally, praise God? Sometimes you just have to be able to observe a person, praise God, to see if they're really for real about God. Sometimes the Lord will allow you to walk that walk and observe a person closely, hallelujah, to let you see that they can easily blend in with the with the flock, y'all. They can easily blend in and look like sheep, y'all, praise God. But they are nothing like the sheep of Jesus Christ. They are nothing like the flock. Hallelujah. They have on a, 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 a flamboyancy, praise God. They are standing in their own self-righteousness. Hallelujah. They're putting on crowns themselves in the mighty name of Jesus. Their crowns are larger than Jesus Christ. Do you understand? In their heads, hallelujah, that God has called them and they have the gift, praise God. But now the gift, hallelujah, is being prostituted. Do you understand? Now the gift, hallelujah, is being uh, used by the enemy, used by the devil praise God and so we have to stand up in this time and do what God says he says go back to tradition hallelujah that doesn't mean that you're going to be running all around doing whatever you want to do with whomever you want to do it with while in the pulpit praise God you're going to sit down somewhere and you're going to listen to God you're going to sit down somewhere and you're going to move when God tells you to move praise God you're not going to be where the all the light should be shining on you it's all about you it's all about what God has given you praise God and what you can do hallelujah you should be pulling the people towards Jesus you should be telling them, hallelujah, how to pray for themselves. You should be teaching them, praise God, hallelujah, how to prophesy themselves, hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, you should be teaching them how to draw closer to God themselves so that they don't have to lean on you every single time, praise God, hallelujah. We are a community, a community of sheep under Jesus Christ. The Lord is letting us know today that he is bringing us back to his original design. We will walk in his traditions, praise God, because God is the same. So you can call God traditional. Let me say that again. God is the same. Hallelujah. Nothing has changed with God. You can call him traditional, praise God. Hallelujah. And when we walk in the things of God, following this Bible, which is a holy book, doing what God is calling us to do, praise God. We are walking in righteousness and truth. We are walking in the things that we are supposed to walk in because this is the order of Jesus Christ. This is the order of our steps, praise God. And they are good steps, hallelujah. For God has good plans for us, praise God. The Lord is letting us know today, we're going back to the original design. There is a shift happening, praise God. There is a change happening right now. Hallelujah. Those who are deceived are being more deceived. You're going to see them even go off, praise God, the ledge in the mighty name of Jesus in deception in Jesus mighty name. But God's flock, they're pull, being pulled back to the tradition, praise God. They're being pulled back, hallelujah, to the scripture. They're being pulled back to the word. They're being pulled back, hallelujah, to Jesus Christ to walk the narrow path in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And if you talk to many people, many people don't want the original marriages, praise God. They don't want to do it like that no, anymore, praise God. A lot of people just want to do it their way. They want to come up with their own rules of how they're going to conduct their themselves in their marriages, praise God. But I'm letting you know, hallelujah, that this holy book that we are studying, praise God, every single day, hallelujah, showing ourselves approved through studying, I'm telling you right now, this book right here will give us exactly what we need in order to walk with God in marriages, to walk with God in consecration, because we are in a consecrated season right now in Jesus' mighty name. I pray that you believe it and receive it in Jesus' name. The Lord said to let you know that we are returning to his timing, which is his original design, praise God, and there is a change happening. There is a shift happening. I'm telling you right now, we are returning back, praise God, and even in church is not going to be like usual. Hallelujah. You're going to see more people posted up. What do you mean posted up? Posted up here, posted up there. Praise God. Speaking the word of God. Hallelujah. These are going to be people who are bold enough. They are going to get up off their couches and they're going to walk straight to the, uh, uh, the, the corner. Hallelujah. And they're going to be preaching the word. They're going to get up out of their cars. Praise God. And they're going to be standing at the grocery stores preaching the word. Hallelujah. The Lord is calling us forth in this season and you're just going to start to see the flood of Jesus.
Jesus Christ, hallelujah, and his people, his flock, standing together, doing his work. And it's going to be seamless, y'all, from every corner, hallelujah. You're going to just start seeing people preaching the word. You're just going to start seeing unusual people, hallelujah. They're not your normal look, praise God, preaching the word. Why? Because he's calling this remnant forward in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody got to stand up to the nonsense, praise God. Somebody got to speak the word. Somebody got to stop sitting down and say amen, praise God, hallelujah, and get up and do something, hallelujah. The Lord is looking for those who are willing in Jesus' mighty name. Not willing to do what you want to do, praise God, but willing to do what God is telling you in Jesus' name. I pray that you believe it and receive it. Hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, I am on fire for Jesus Christ because he is fire. Hallelujah. So if he is in me, if the Holy Spirit is in me, I must be fire, praise God. Hallelujah. And that is for you too. If he is in you, if the Holy Spirit is in you, then you must be fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So go purify with the word of the Lord. Be the sword against the enemy. Hallelujah because this is a time that we must stand on the firm foundation of Jesus Christ. All right, y'all. I love you with the love of Christ. Be blessed in all your ways and know that the Lord loves you. Hallelujah. I love you. And I know, praise God, that this remnant that he's bringing up is going to be mighty and powerful because he has called them forth in Jesus' mighty name. And we are returning back to his original design. Watch it happen right before your eyes in Jesus' mighty name. Call it a prophetic message. Call it a message from the Lord, praise God. But it is so. It is happening now in Jesus name hallelujah turn up for God turn up for God turn up for God ingredients to get to know God ingredients